Yeah. Well, well, we're really, we're really happy to have you here. And, and so, yeah, so you came to us from show business. How, I, I'm curious, I, I, if, you, if you don't mind me taking this for a minute, how do you, how would you say that having had a background in theater uh, influenced or affects the way that you work in hypnosis? I think it's exactly the same thing, actually, is my honest answer. <laughs> I was doing hypnosis before I knew I was doing hypnosis. Yeah, the show business is, is what I dreamt of as a kid. I was hypnotizing myself from the age of whatever age it was that I discovered I had a mind and could think. So probably around age three, four, five, somewhere in there when you start getting ideas in your head. And I got it in my head right away that I wanted to be a singer. I wanted to be a performer. And I started hypnotizing myself. This isn't usually part of this uh, process, but, you know, we all come from backgrounds that we have things unique to what we learned from whatever we did before we became hypnotists. And I'm, a, I'm guessing that most of the people, if not all of them on this uh, are hypnotists. But even if you aren't, whatever you're doing right now in your life, everything influences you. And because I was dreaming about being a singer and literally, you know, as a child, we don't generally, hopefully, if we have good positive reinforcement around us. My dad was one of those said, dream big, anything to dream of, you know, you can accomplish and you got to work hard, but as long as you don't give up, you'll get it, you know. So I just didn't think about it too much. And I just kept thinking, dreaming about it and imagining it. And I literally, uh, they would tell me several times in my childhood that I would literally stand up in bed in the middle of the night and start singing. And I honestly had no memory of it the next day. So I was really deep in hypnosis, a singer in my head. And I can still see, and I, even today, all these decades later, I can see in my imagination the image of what I saw in one of my dreams of me on stage singing. And my hair had the updo of the day, 1950s. And I had my same little girl face because that's the only one that I knew about at that point. But I had lipstick on and makeup and stuff. So it was this very interesting image I have in my head of what I was dreaming. But I dreamt about it so much. And I thought about it and I talked about it to everybody I knew. And I told everybody that I literally conditioned myself to bring in the theme of tonight. I had conditioned myself to just accept it to a point where no one and nothing on the outside world could ever convince me of anything different. It was, it was embedded so early in life. And uh, so that, that influenced me before I ever, uh, and then I had some other life challenges uh, in between teenage years and actually getting into show business at age 20 that I won't go into, but there was some things that happened that got me off on some other worlds. And all of a sudden, I found myself at age 20 uh, in a very bad place, a very bad place physically, mentally, and emotionally, uh, the worst one I'd ever known at that point in, or since, thank, thankfully. And all of a sudden, it was almost like I have nothing to lose. <laughs> and I think it was my sister who said, you've been talking about this all your life. Why don't you just go do it? And so I put an ad in the paper, and the rest was 20 years of history of the most amazing lifestyle that I could imagine. <laughs> 